The command of the Russian army will redeploy some Russian troops from the front in Ukraine to defend Belgorod due to frequent attacks and shelling. A source close to the Kremlin told Bloomberg about this. The Moscow Times reports that since the beginning of March, the Belgorod region of the Russian Federation has been subjected to regular shelling and attacks by sabotage and reconnaissance groups of Russian volunteers. At least 20 people were killed and about 100 were injured. The most intense impacts occurred in mid-March. On March 16, the city came under fire twice, and on March 14, three times. The publication notes that, despite the shelling and missile danger, the mayor of Belgorod, Valentin Demidov, called on residents not to refuse to visit polling stations for the Russian presidential elections held on March 15 to 17. Earlier, the comments portal reported that Ukraine will not conduct peace negotiations with Russia, since the Russian Federation is a terrorist country, and terrorists are not talked to, they are destroyed, said NSDC Secretary Alexei Damilov. The NSDC secretary added that all civilized countries of the world should, following Ukraine, recognize the Russian Federation as a terrorist country. What kind of peace negotiations are there with Russia if this country is an aggressor? This is a terrorist country. No one talks to terrorists in the modern world. They are simply taken and destroyed, Danilov said. In addition, the comments portal reported that Polish President Andrzej Duda said that in the near future Russia could restore its military potential in order to attack NATO countries in 2026. The president of Poland believes that due to the threat from Russia, NATO should increase the required threshold for countries' defense spending from 2% to 3% of GDP.
Давай, 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 Все, 